Hey guys, I'm back, and I got a new cube. It is the helicopter cube. If you guessed it right, tell me in the comments. But it's a, probably the strangest cube that I own now, because it turns on the edges instead of on the faces. And it can shapeshift in two different ways. And some of the algorithms require you to jumble. So today I was just going to show you this one and the other new cube I got. And then I was going to do some solves on them. The other new one I got is the Rubik's 3x3x1, which is pretty easy, and it's a good size, so you can carry it around with you everywhere you go, which I like to do. And it's kind of weird because it can shapeshift, which you wouldn't really expect out of a cube so small, but it can become a big challenge. So with that, I am going to solve this guy. I'm not really going to be saying the steps, I'm probably just going to be like talking to myself the whole time. So, we're just going to get the white side. And this cube is like brand new, so it's still pretty hard to turn, because I only got it like yesterday. But it did quickly become a new favorite. white layer. Now I gotta get the white first half done. This part's kind of long but it's super easy. Like you can probably do this part by just messing around. I would definitely recommend this if you're looking for a bit more of a challenge. Once you've already like mastered getting three by three or two by two, this one's just a ton of fun to mess around with because of how different it is. And we are on the last thing. Oh, there it is. I could not find a piece. There's that. And then we're just going to need to put the last piece. Boom. And there is the first layer. And now what we got to do is build these pairs on the top. So I'm going to do orange, just move this over, flatten this up, move it down. This guy's in the way, so I'm going to move the way. And I go down. And then we're going to do that for every side. And boom. Now, we got to do that one algorithm. That you need to know. All right, and that algorithm is right, left, back, left, back, right, back, left, back, and left. And that switches these pieces. It makes this one go here. This one go here, and this one come back to here. And then we got one more thing to do, which is go around the cube six times. So that was one. That was two. Here's three. Four. Five and six. And that is it solved. Don't worry about that. And then we have the three by three by one. First step, 
is going to be to get it back to cube form. And this part is kind of weird because you can turn it 180 degrees or just 90. Because it ends up like with just one sticking out and you have to move that out of the way. And then go down and then move back. And then it's just like solving a regular 3x3 three three where you have to get the white cross. But as you can see, some of these pieces, there is no white. So you're going to have to take that out and individually rotate it. And then move that up. And then there's the white side. Now we've got to get the edges. And then all that's left is this little one. You just take that out and then rotate just the one and then move down. And that has been my two new cubes. Please put down in the comments which ones I should get next and I will happily get them. Alright, if you made it this far, please consider liking or subscribing. Thanks for watching.